Hi guys and welcome back to another tutorial brought to you by Reillusion and hosted by iClone 3D. I'm Trista Ross and today we're going to be looking at a really cool way to get a character falling down from different height intervals and you know it's really really cool especially doing action movies or you know just kind of using your imagination to create these wild scenes. This is how we can execute a really good fall down motion, get some realistic motion on the floor when he kind of impacts with it. I'm going to show you exactly how we can do all of that today. So let's first check the original animation and you'll see we've got a character hanging from a pole and this motion falls down from a low height and with a little bouncing when he touches the ground. Now we're going to use bi-directional blending, direct puppet, physics, linkage and the edit motion layer to actually tweak this animation, allow the character to fall from a much higher height and get a little bit more bounce when he actually hits the ground. So we're gonna make this guy fall down from a higher height in this case. Uh, we're gonna break the motion clip just before the bouncing animation. So we'll just break that here and just move that out of the way for now. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna come here and copy and paste a particular frame for expanding the animation range. And once we've done that, what we're gonna do is we're simply gonna break it again and you'll get a fall in pose in this clip. So now we're going to use the direct puppet feature for actually animating it. And this feature can, you know, really tweak the animation intuitively by using the mouse movement. So you just use your mouse to move it and tweak that. And we'll enable the mirror option and record the hand animations. And, you know, we can get some really cool motions going here. As you can see, all I'm doing is moving the mouse around and unlock the feet record the right and left leg separately, and we'll just get some nice animation going in both of these joints. And as you can see here, we've got some really cool motion going, and we can just play that back and check the results. And so far, so good, it looks really cool. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna rotate the torso with the direct puppet tool as well. This will add some, you know, more realistic movement in that motion, and simply copy this motion clip and paste it to blend them together. And that will just extend the range of that motion so you don't have to do it all over again. And then we can merge clips first and break it again to get the specific motion range. And then we can just loop it. And now we've got some amazing motion and that was done in about one or two minutes. You can see how quick it is and how cool it looks. And now just blend these two clips together. Decide the transition range. We'll create a box as a dummy for simulating the free fall physics. We just change the color for better checking. Now to activate the physics, make sure you're choosing the rigid body dynamic. And if you play back, you can see the box actually falls down. Now let's duplicate the box and we're gonna change the gravity setting to minus 30 in the project settings panel. We just wanna demo falling down velocities for different settings. And you know, the physics animation will be baked in the timeline. And we'll just align the character to the box. And the falling down animation is going to be the same for now. And we're going to select the character, link it to the box for binding these two objects together. The character will move following the box, as you can see in the video. And you can actually um, take a sneak peek to the before and after and just see the difference in results. And you can see, you know, how much we've actually done to the animation, you know, in a matter of minutes. It took no more than two or three minutes to do that. And now we've got a complete extension of that animation and that fall in motion. Now, make sure we've got the target floor mesh in the scene and we're gonna create an infinite plane for simulating the physics when the object actually hits the floor. You can see the box will drop down until touching the ground. And there'll be a bouncing simulation coming after this animation. And we're just gonna really try and make the character link to the box again for sharing the physics simulation. So it should represent the same physics in the character as it has done in the box.
and there we go we can see our characters now bouncing and what we're going to do now is we're just going to tweak the animation specifically and we're going to create a new animation layer so we can just avoid changing the raw data of the original animation and then we can just tweak the animation in body part mode with the edit motion layer here just fine-tuning things and you know moving the arms slightly just getting it looking uh, perfect and just how you like it there really is kind of no you know exact way to do it it's just really to your liking and what you see working best for you so we're just going to create another layer now and we're going to use this layer to actually tweak the torso part we'll use the full body part mode this time and again just add in you know little details little minute movements just to really kind of tweak and fine tune the motion And you can see already the effects that's having on the animation there. And then we'll just go to the before and after via the activated layers or not. And we'll just see our finished results. You can see the motion's been increased and the bounce at the end looks incredible. So here we've got a few different steps and you can see just how much the bounce has come alive with those little tweaks you know, using the edit motion layer just to tweak and fine tune everything. And, you know, it looks really incredible, guys. Really simple to do. It takes a few minutes and you've got some incredible animation there. And that concludes this tutorial, guys. Really hope it helped and you've learned some amazing stuff. And really hope to see you guys again soon for another tutorial.